Welcome back. Today, we are focusing on the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. And for many of us, one of the hardest parts is the mental strain we are all under, especially when we don't know what is going to happen next in the next few weeks or the next few months. Well, this morning, we are talking with friends of the show, Susan Harrington. She's the owner and clinical supervisor of Maison D. And we're talking about the fear of the unknown. Very powerful topic. Good morning, Susan. Hi there. Hi there. Welcome and happy day today. Happy day. We're going to make sure it's a happy day because, you know, a lot of people are going through this mental strain right now, including myself, because it's hard to know what to do when you don't know what is going to happen. It's normal for us to feel anxious right now, right? Because if you're not feeling anxious, that can be concerning as well, right? It is normal to feel anxious because this COVID-19 virus is real. It's come from China and come all the way around the globe. The whole globe is experiencing it. So it is really real. If we don't feel anxious or just uneasy or just kind of questioning, then there might be something to be concerned about when we get into overwhelm of our feelings, whether it's anxiety or anger, anywhere in between, then we into avoidance or denial on the inside as a way to cope. And that's not healthy either. Mm -mm, those are red flags as well. So yes. for people who are wondering, how do I cope with this fear of the unknown, not knowing what's going to happen next, what advice can you offer us? The first piece of advice that's really important is to be aware of our anxiety, because when we're aware of it, then we can do something about it. If we don't acknowledge that we have it, well, then we're in denial and we're going to do things that could be very harmful to our well-being. Very powerful. And for people who are at home right now who are saying, maybe I should go see someone, maybe I should not go and speak to someone, how do you determine when we should actually say, I need to go talk to a professional? Ah, so some pretty simple things like if you're not sleeping well, if people are telling you you're impatient or irritable more than usual, if your eating habits are different as well, um, if you're noticing you're having a little trouble not focusing more than usual, like those sorts of things are just those early signs that say something's not right inside. Let me go check it out. Very true. Now, I love a good example. I love a good game here on Great Day, Louisiana. You have developed a diagram for us, and we're going to use the pandemic as an example. Show us this diagram and tell us how do we use it in regards to the pandemic. Okay, so I don't want to claim that this is mine. This is cognitive behavioral therapy. We have lots of research on it, so it's just me taking that and applying it to the pandemic. It's what we do to help people address issues. So as you can see from the left side, uh, some event happens. So for us, this is the pandemic. It could also be when it comes back around the circle, it could be hearing the news, getting updates, hearing a friend has got COVID-19, whatever, talking with somebody who doesn't wear a mask, all these things that cause us to have some belief to happen, right? And these beliefs in the negative form of this cycle are negative. So they might sound like something about my world's gonna come to an end, or you're to blame for this. I wouldn't feel like this, but it wouldn't be for your behavior. So it's some negative thing that's getting us to feel a negative feeling like anger or fear, or even these pride feelings that are full of righteousness. You know, nothing's gonna happen to me. I'm perfectly fine. These kind of attitudes, all of that imply there's a negative belief that's going on. The disputing belief is what we feel, and then, then it goes into the emotions. Then it goes into the emotion. So this happens really fast. It's like in a split second. So this behavior happens because of our emotion. So we'll act very panicky. We might isolate in our houses and not react with anybody. We get into denial and walking around without a mask, for example. Or we start attacking people and finger pointing and saying, if you wouldn't, if you wouldn't, or this, you know, how the our bipartisanship's happening in the country, like that's a blaming and an attacking kind of behavior. So our emotions lead into our behavior. And for that, we end up with a reaction. And that's a really important word. Because a reaction, I'm not consciously making a decision how to behave. This negative belief is motivating it, fueling it. Whereas if we make a change in the belief that we have, if we dispute that belief, so that's that negative, I mean, the, the right side, the purple you see coming in. If we change that belief system to something that talks about us thriving, something that leads to us feeling hopeful and something that is connects us to the world as a whole. If we can change the belief system to these things, then what happens is, is the emotions turn into much more rational. I'm sorry, wrong word. If they change to more realistic emotions because the new disputing belief is realistic and concrete. So if my belief system was, um, if you wear a mask, I wouldn't get sick. That's a blaming, right? That's not going to get anything anymore. But if the new belief system is 
although you chose not to wear a mask, I can take care of myself by. So that might be saying the same six feet away, only talking with you outside or through a video interaction. I can change my belief system to something that gives me hope. Then what happens is, is the emotions are much more sound, right? I'm going to be more rational and assertive in my behaviors. And I don't have a reaction in that consequence. I have a response. I'm conscious. I'm aware. I'm making actual decisions. And the next time a behavior or an event comes around, my belief system keeps me in a positive loop as opposed to a negative. And my anxiety goes down. My, I'm not blaming so much. My anger goes down. I sleep better at night. I'm eating a little more safely. I'm, like all of it just changes automatically. It's so, really also, it's, so it starts within ourselves, which I think is great because even though this is a model, it actually happens really fast. So change your beliefs if you can. Optimism, I love that. Well, hey, I also love the offer that you're offering people right now. Check it out, my friends. They are offering a free 90-minute session for families of first responders. If you want to learn more about Maison V and the opportunity to get your free 90-minute session, you can log on to MaisonVNewOrleans.com or give them a call at 504-452-5937. I love that. Well, hey, it all starts with ourselves. I love that. We're going to take a commercial break, but much more to come on our COVID resources show when we come back. 